Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where today John Coleman and I are speaking with Michelle Fabrega, our love and relationship coach. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Art. Hi, John. Hi, Michelle. Um, you know, as a love and relationship coach, the ultimate relationship is marriage mm. or partnering up with somebody. And um, we have in the past talked about infidelity, which is, of course, you know, a, a real trauma to the relationship, to say the least, it often ends the relationship. And there's a moment somewhere before the infidelity happens, there's a moment where somebody's tempted to be uh, unfaithful. Mm. And, and the question is, I don't know how many people actually follow through on it, but we know it must happen quite often. And what do you do about it? What do you do when you're tempted and you probably want to be unfaithful, but you're having that moment? What, what, how do you deal <laughs> with it? Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, I mean, um, you're not alone, right? in anybody having that moment. I'm not saying you, I, I didn't want to out you that way, but you basically, <laughs> you know, you're going to have those moments, right? And just because your partner doesn't mean you're not going to notice all the other beautiful human beings around you, right? So, you know, monogamy is not always easy and it's, it's not really in our nature. So for most people, there may be a moment or maybe many moments when, when one is tempted. And so, I mean, I, I'm big on noticing those things because like to notice is to, hopefully take a little time to pause there and really take a look because it's something basically you're going to need to learn to manage the temptation, you know, as, as a person in a relationship and um, our ability to manage that temptation is going to depend on, you know, how happy we are in our relationship, how happy we are feeling in general, um, you know, just many other factors. Right. So I think it's really key to just, Oh, Something's going on here. And the first thing I really invite people to do is to play out the full fantasy. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, how's your partner going to feel if you cheat, right? And can you imagine, like, the look on their face, you know, what they would actually say to you when they find out? And how are you going to feel carrying the guilt and fear of being found out? So it's really, you know, like, we tend to not go past the point of, like, oh, this is exciting, I'm really hot for this other person, whatever, and it's kind of like, that's where the fantasy usually ends, right, in our mind, but it's really important to, like, fill it out fully and, um, you know, take some time to look, feel into the consequences, right? It makes infidelity, obviously, a lot less attractive. You know, yeah. it's kind of interesting that um, uh, from all the conversations we've had, uh, this would seem to be the perfect time for that person to get in touch with you, okay? Because they may be on a road that uh, their relationship is over and maybe they ought to face that first. And if they can't overcome that, you know, with help that you can guide them through and not every marriage is gonna be saved or relationship's gonna be saved, then maybe one of the things that they do is with you, maybe open up a conversation with their partner and if it's not going to work and if they can't get over it, then maybe they can end the relationship before they cheat and then they're not a cheater. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's very wise. Art. That's exactly what I was going to say. It really can help to share the temptation you're feeling with, you know, a counselor or or, or maybe a very trusted person. Obviously, you need to choose carefully here, but yeah. but to speak of it out loud and to name the impulses and like what is going on and why and what's not happening in my current relationship that what am I needing mm -hmm. or what am I not feeling loved here? Or I'm not even feeling loving towards myself. Like sometimes we're, we're looking for outside, like somebody to kind of stroke our ego or something like, you know, it, it's, it's complicated. Right. And part of the excitement of an, of an affair is the hiding in the secrecy. So when we like mm -hmm. kind of divulge it to a counselor coach like me, or, you know, someone that you can trust that, it's not going anywhere. We're going to just look at it and get curious and we're not going to be judging anybody. You know, temptation happens, but, but to speak it out loud to someone who, you know, wants the best for you and can help you stay in integrity yourself. Good advice. 
Good advice. Yeah, and, and obviously, certainly, you know, if there's a specific person that you're having this crush on, you know, you really want to minimize your contact with them, you know, if you can, you know, or avoid or minimize it, right? And um, and know that, you know, alcohol and drugs totally interfere with clear thinking and restraint. So, you know, don't put yourself under the influence when you're around this person, you know, a business meeting where you head to the bar afterwards, you know, probably not a good idea, right? Hmm. Yeah. Can't argue with any of that. Yeah. And then see if you can turn your energy towards your partner, like and invite them into an exploration of like how to make your relationship better. And, you know, depending on your relationship, you could even confess that you're having this temptation. Um, this might, some partners might find this hurtful. So you got to tread really carefully here, but, but it could be an opening to discover, like, how can we, you know, make ourselves happier here together and in, in kind of the benefit of the confession like this is to kind of hold yourself accountable. Like, I don't want to do this. And I just, I'm feeling this temptation. And so is there a way we can, you know, really um, plan something special coming up or, you know, whatever, something to help you support you in staying, you know, where you are. Yeah. You know, um, all of these suggestions uh, really come down to you. You can't, jump on the decision, you have to think about mm. the consequences and you have to think about where is this coming from? Not where's the temptation coming from? Right. Although that's part of it. Uh, it's, it's why am I tempted? And what is it I need to do uh, to, to solve this problem? Or, yeah. or and part of the solving of the problem could be that the relationship you're in may not be working. But I think the bottom line is before you do that, especially if you have a long time invested uh, with your uh, spouse or partner, is uh, seek counseling. That's what you do for a living. Seek some Michelle or somebody like Michelle and uh, give it a yeah. shot before maybe you blow a relationship that's otherwise uh, been very good with kids or with yeah. all sorts of other right. complications that are in there uh, and try to work it out. But uh, uh, if you attempt it, it's like uh, we we had a recent conversation about restraint is uh, think long and hard before you, although, you know, if you're in a, like you said, in, in a bar after work and you're hormonal, uh, that's a little <laughs> bit harder to think with, you, with your head uh, not screwed on right for that particular moment. But if, if you can hold off uh, before you do something uh, uh, that will be relationship altering. See, and you probably won't be able to speak to your partner directly about that without having an intermediary who can maybe act as a as a as a communicator between the two of them. So a touchy situation, and I guess that's why we appreciate having uh, you, Michelle, as uh, our love and relationship coach to touch upon these really really thorny issues. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, just like you said, you it's so much. Um, so much mess, right? Gets created, yeah, how people are going to feel, the kids involved, whatever. And it's like, just, you know, have a conversation, talk to someone, get some support and, you know, see if you can improve your relationship. Maybe you, I mean, there's even the possibility you could renegotiate monogamy, right? There's consensual non-monogamy that works for some people. Um, or is it time to end your relationship? So as we know, you know, cheating does not solve anything right. and just creates so many problems. It just, yeah, I would avoid it at all costs. Great advice. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.